Democrats had a strong showing on Election Day across the United States, and so was the case here in Platteville. A large turnout and an unprecedented number of early voting ballots meant that it was nearly 1 a.m. before all of Platteville's votes could be counted. When they did, it was clear Democratic candidates had the upper hand. In the presidential race, Obama carried 64% of Platteville's vote, nearly double the 34% carried by McCain. In the race for a seat in the U.S. House of Representatives, incumbent Ron Kind had a very strong showing in Platteville, carrying 63% of the vote. His Republican opponent, Paul Stark, came in with 28%. The closest race of the night was the race for the 49th State Assembly District. Incumbent Democrat Phil Garthwaite, the only Democrat to hold the seat since 1912, carried 53% of Platteville's vote. Republican Travis Trandall carried 42%. The day after the election, the campus was buzzing about the results. Considering Obama's strong support in the area, most students were happy with the outcome. Well, uh, just to speak for him in Platteville, I thought that the, the, political, the way the political parties came together to educate the student body, to raise the vote, the importance of the vote, and to get down to the issues was amazing. I think that vote came through in the Wisconsin election, took part in the national election. It was just interesting to see if you went on CNN.com to see just specifically on Grant County the turnout for um, the voters. It was over 20,000 like um, participants. So it's just really nice to see that. And on our campus, we were very, um, we were advocacy for um, getting the voice out too as well. Um, I'm very excited and I think I'm very hopeful. I was um, very pleased with both the uh, uh, concession speech by John McCain and his willingness to reach across the aisle and to work collaboratively uh, to address all the problems and challenges our country is facing. And I think um, the look on the faces of the people in the crowd in the park in Chicago talks about the hope and passion that they have for the future of our country. I was just really excited to see um, the results and just to see um, how many of the young voters turned out to um, vote in this election. I think that it was um, amazing. They were, I think, as the young people and as our generation grows, um, we'll see a lot more changes and we'll get to see um, how important it is to our country. To be part of our I was so happy, man. Yeah. I really started. Because it's time for change. Man. I mean, it means a lot to our African American population, but it means a lot to America too. And I was looking at the election, I seen how many young people voted. I mean, it was just amazing. Obama office, a lot of us that was canvassing and everything got together. We were all there. We were just anxious. And once they said California, everybody just jumped up, started hugging each other. A lot of people were crying. It was just a great scene. We went out and we were yelling. And we were all downtown yelling. I was happy that um, all the people that voted exercised their right to vote, and I'm glad to see that you know nothing has to go like the past years. See, um, being the former di the foreign diplomat that um, Obama can be, he's a motivational speaker. He can speak to people, and he reached a lot of people. And I think it's really important, and uh, I think this. Um, Outcome is very beneficial for our country and just our relations with the world. And I'm really excited to see all the good things that we can possibly do. Even those who did not support Barack Obama in the election were optimistic about the future of the country. I wasn't surprised when I, when I found out Obama won. I felt that he kind of dominated. I think he reached out to like a lot of students. I mean, our campus was just a sea of Obama flyers everywhere and chalk. And I don't know, I come from a really Republican family. And my dad kind of, he didn't like set it in stone, but he always told us, like, this is what we like probably what you're gonna like. So I don't know. I wasn't really torn between either candidate. I liked them both. Even an old fan that I was talking to the voter for McCain, he's like, even though I don't like Obama, I'm still proud of what this nation has done with voting, so it's a great stuff for it. I was a very strong supporter of McCain and I worked very hard to try to get him elected and I had a pretty good feeling that he wasn't going to win. My reaction is, while I don't like Obama necessarily and don't agree with him, I will respect him. I will give him a chance. I think he deserves that. He earned that. There's a few things that I think he can and most likely will do that will earn my respect and support. And I'm, you know, that will reflect in my opinion on him four years from now. But the thing that scares me the most as a student of history is I, I am going to be hoping, praying everything that he remains safe because that is one of the fears. I want him to stay safe and be well. I guess that just gives out a big congratulations to Barack Obama. I'm excited to see what happens in the next four years. All right.
Cool. Thanks.